In one of the five mid credit scenes in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Aisha, the leader of the Sovereign, talks about creating a perfect being. Her last line being, I think I will call him Adam. She's talking about Adam Warlock. Now who is that and how does he fit into this crazy franchise? Subscribe and I'll let you know. All right, you do it? Okay, good, let's do this. Adam Warlock was created by a group of old dudes called the Enclave. He didn't have a name at that point, they just called him, uh, him. Which leads to a lot of syntax errors. Him hurt their plans of global domination, and with the help of the Fantastic Four, him destroyed their facility. See, that sounds weird. He then tried to steal Thor's girlfriend, Sif, to mate with her. Thor kicks his ass, him covers himself in an unbreakable cocoon, and Thor punts it straight into space. Him's cocoon is found by a being called the High Evolutionary, who thankfully gives him the name Warlock and puts the soul gem in his forehead. The soul gem has the power to pull someone's soul out of their body and into a utopian pocket universe. Then a weird storyline ensues in which Warlock becomes a Christ-like figure to a new Earth on the far side of the sun called Counter-Earth. The High Evolutionary is a god, one of his creations, Man-Beast, plays the devil, and Warlock, who is given the name Adam by citizens of Counter-Earth, is crucified after defeating Man-Beast. Yep. Adam then finds a version of himself from the future called Magnus, who is driven insane by the gem in his face. Magnus runs an intergalactic megachurch and is really evil. Warlock then goes into the future to capture his own soul in the soul gem before he goes insane and becomes Magnus. Warlock goes on to defeat Thanos multiple times, dies and is reborn multiple times in different forms, including a purely good form called Goddess, and at one point he was in control of the Infinity Gauntlet with all the Infinity Stones in it. While wearing it, he blew up all of existence by being startled awake by his sidekick Pip. Speaking of Pip, let's talk about those sidekicks. In the comics, Warlock's sidekicks are Gamora and the aforementioned Pip. Gamora was kidnapped as a child by Thanos, who trains her to be an assassin specifically to kill Adam Warlock to get his Infinity Stone, but they become friends instead. Pip is an alien who becomes a troll after drinking bad beer. Yep. Warlock's powers consist of superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, agility, self-preservation, and regeneration. <laughs> When in possession of the Soul Gem, he can see the truth and access the skills of those trapped within the pocket universe in the gem. When he possesses all the Infinity Stones, he can do anything. Ford? Yes. I think I'm a sofa. I know how you feel. Based on the end credit scene in Guardians 2, the movie is stirring up his backstory, so it's a little unclear on what role Warlock will have in the MCU. But in the comics, he has been a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy and obviously has a history of kicking Thanos' ass. Also, Aisha, this gold chick, is Adam Warlock's twin, born in the same genetic process as Adam. She was created as a male, but after learning the other Paragon's existence, she changed into a female so she can mate with him. When she finds him, though, it's during one of the many times he is dead so she can get that sweet, sweet twin loving. Yep. Thanks guys for watching. Let us know what you think about Adam Warlock joining the MCU in the comment section below and who should play him in a movie that hasn't already been in a DC film or MCU film. Um, Brad Pitt? Alexander Skarsgård? <laughs>